today I have a 2013 Infiniti QX56 and today I'll be going over the features on the interior and the exterior and checking out the engine bay on this QX as well as starting up the QX as well as well as going over some of the QX's competitors so let's go ahead and check it out we have remote keyless entry the QX was last redesigned back in 2011 chrome door handles it's a black exterior smart key access system on the driver and passenger doors black leather interior power driver seat with power recline and power lumbar let's go ahead and start this baby up does have push button ignitions put your foot on the brake hit the button to start leather wrapped steering wheel with wood grain Nice and smooth. Seven speed automatic transmission with manual shiftability. You have a backup camera with guidance lines and an around view monitor. You can change the views. Nice. Now let's go ahead and turn the lights on, fog lights. The hazards automatic driver's side window and let's go ahead and pop the hood check out the engine bay heated exterior mirrors with turn signal indicators integrated onto the mirrors very silent motor I have to say I can barely hear this motor running right now. HID headlights with your halogen fog lights. You have headlamp washers as well and front parking sensors. Very muscular front end. It just screams, look at me, when it's on the road. <laughs> Under the hood is a very strong 5.6 liter V8. Producing 400 horsepower, which is very good compared to some of its competitors. And it's very, very silent. Um, you can barely hear this motor. The QX56's main competitors are the Cadillac Escalade, Lexus LX, Lincoln Navigator. EPA estimates are 14 city, 20 highway. Total vehicle price is $78,405. You have a roof rack. Coming to the rear end of the QX, you have LED tail lamps, rear parking sensors, a rear window wiper with a rear window defroster, and an LED third brake light. Your integrated backup camera. Your radio antenna.
power windows, door locks, and power mirrors. Memory seat settings for two people, chrome door handles as well. Nice stitching as well. Nice and padded. Very, very padded. And let's go ahead and rev up the QX. Very powerful motor. Nice. On the interior of the QX, everything is very accommodating. You have nice soft touch materials all around the dashboard and the car. It's just very nice and elegant. Just like how a luxury SUV should be. Heated steering wheel. Heated and cooled seats. Steering wheel mounted audio controls, of course. Bluetooth, voice recognition. Cruise control, adaptive cruise control. Power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. Nice gauges. Very elegant interior design. Auto dimming rear view mirror with garage home link. Sunglass container. Your sunroof and your sunroof controls. Nice wood trim as well. Nice stitching. And this is very soft to the touch right here too. Cup holders, power outlet. Nice large center console. Nice and padded. Sliding armrests as well. AM, FM, CD player. Auxiliary input as well. Analog clock. Navigation system. Nice, clear, and easy to read. However, I do prefer the Lexus LX's navigation system. But they do have the best uh, camera in the class with the round view monitor and all that makes it backing up to things very easy and inconvenient. Let's go ahead and test out the voice recognition system. Please say a command. Navigation. Navigation. Please say a command. Address. Address. What state please? California. California. Please say the city name. Sacramento. Showing the matching cities. Please say a number. One. One. Sacramento. Please say the street name. Cancel. Showing the matching streets. Please say a number. Back. Exit. It's pretty good, but however, I do prefer um, Mercedes and Lexus voice recognition system. Dual zone climate control as well. Rear window defroster. All in all, a well laid out interior. Intermittent windshield wipers as well. You have a Bose premium audio sound system. Like this wood trim too. And let's go ahead and shut down the QX. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the car. Power tailgate. Power folding third row seats. 
pretty slow at doing it but still very convenient that you do have these you have a power outlet back here too your QX floor mats Material quality does follow through in the rear, so that's very good. Same exact materials, nice and stitched, very padded. Nice little ripple on the leather too. And chrome door handles, of course. These running boards do help uh, quite a lot too. Heated rear seats back here. Rear DVD entertainment system, dual map pockets. Cup holders and a center armrest. The seats in the Infinity are also very comfortable. They do recline as well. You have a power outlet back there, back here, and automatic climate control. Alright, and let's go ahead and hop into the third row seat. Top into the third row seat, just pull this, and it comes right up. Wish a lot of full-size SUVs were like this, and other SUVs. Back here, um, it is not that comfortable as the second row seats in the first row, I have to say. The Cadillac Escalade and Lincoln Navigator are definitely uh, better choices if you're looking for a better uh, third row. You can operate the uh, third row uh, powered folding seats by this little button right here too. But that's where the Cadillac Escalade and the Navigator really shine, is in their third row. Alright. Full power passenger seat with power recline. Glove box compartment, nice and damp. Material quality is so good. <laughs> You do have four-wheel drive as well, forgot to mention that. All right, and thank you for checking out this review on the 2013 Infiniti QX56. If you have any questions on this 2013 Infiniti, please let me know. Remember, this is Cameron's Car Reviews, car buying made easy.